Hey, how's it? How's it, guys? How's it? You guys good? You guys good? Laka, laka. We're in week four of our Fruits of the Spirit. I've been eating so many of these fruits. I've been getting absolutely loud. Look at that. My word, that is jar. Normous. Call me Hulk Hogan. Now, anyway, we are week four. That means we've gone through a few. How many have we gone through? We've gone through that first one. You remember that? Joy. <laughs> See that one? Oh, 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 peace. Yes, 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 yes. But this week, we're going to be looking at a completely different one. Now, to give you guys a little bit of a tip, a little bit of a taste, a little bit of a teaser, Take a look at this. Now after that, can you guys guess what this week is all about? Can you guys guess what this week is all about? <laughs> Don't worry, I can because it took me a while to figure it out. But before we do that, we're gonna go over to worship. So let's go and do that. Let's go. No one said it would be easy. No one said it would be comfortable. No one said we wouldn't fight for it. So we gotta trust in God's promises Faith to trust that His word is true Faith to trust Him in all that we do Faith to trust Him and never let go Trusting Him as we see our faith grow So stand, let's stand on the promises of God Stand, just stand and say to that mountain, say to that mountain, stand, let's stand on the promises of God. Stand, just stand, and say to that mountain, say to that mountain, say to that mountain, move. Move, 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 get out of my way. You gotta stand strong, stand tall, know what you made for, gotta live by faith then. Not by sight, no, gotta stand strong, stand tall, know what you made for Move, 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 get out of my way You gotta stand strong, stand tall, know what you made for Gotta live by faith then Not by sight, no, gotta stand strong, stand tall, know what you made for No one said it would be easy No one said it would be comfortable No one said we wouldn't fight for it so we gotta trust in God's promises Faith to trust that His word is true Faith to trust Him in all that we do Faith to trust Him and never let go Trusting Him as we see our faith grow So stand, let's stand on the promises of God Stand, just stand and say to that mountain, say to that mountain Stand, let's stand on the promises of God Stand, just stand And say to that mountain, say to that mountain Say to that mountain Move, 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 move get out of my way You gotta stand strong, stand tall Know what you made for, gotta live by faith and not by Be steadfast and 
unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Gotta get in your own. We've been set apart for holy things, set apart to live for Him. We've been given life and life itself. Jesus, He is everything. So we set our minds on things above, knowing He's the God of love. He has given us all that we need. Live a life so fearlessly. We're called to be brave. We're called to be strong. We're called to be bold. And we're called to hold on. Be steadfast and movable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Gotta give Him your all. Be steadfast and movable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Gotta give Him your all. Be steadfast and movable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Gotta give Him your all. Be steadfast and movable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Gotta give Him your all. We're called to be brave. We're called to be strong. We're called to be bold, and we're called to hold on. We're called to be brave. We're called to be strong. We're called to be bold, and we're called to hold on. Be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Gotta give Him your all. Be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Gotta give Him your all. Be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Gotta give Him your all. Be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Gotta give Him your all. So we are on week four of our Fruit of the Spirit series. So far we have looked at love, joy, peace. Can anyone guess what is next on our list for today? Well, patience, it is on for today. Now patience, I think if we're all honest, is a very difficult one. And without Jesus, I think it would be close to impossible to be a patient person. I mean, think for example, long day, long afternoon of sports and you are starving and you ask your mom like, hey mom, how long till supper's ready? And she's like, oh no, just 20 minutes. I mean, she might as well have saved two days because you're so hungry and your stomach is about to eat itself. But can we just agree that being patient is sometimes really difficult and I don't think it comes very naturally to us, if that makes sense. Well, check out this video all about patience and see if you're someone who has patience. This is going to be a good cake. No! What are you doing? Oh, that's just raw egg. Ew! And dry flour. <coughs> you need to be patient. But I really want cake now. But if we wait and allow it to bake, mmm. Baker than you. Oh, oh no. Yeah, well, maybe, but what did you realize? So, what is this? Is I'm pretty impatient when it comes to this, hey? And I realized that we are also impatient with Jesus. You're so right, and sometimes being patient to wait for a cake to bake is much easier than being patient when God tells us to be patient. Well, it comes pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, maybe. But you're so right. Sometimes when we wait for something God tells us to wait for, we can often feel um, frustrated and even... Um, mad? Mad, even mad. But what we don't realize is that God is busy with something inside our hearts and we didn't even realize that. Even bigger 
than what we wanted. We need to be patient and trust God. So patience is then trusting God in His time when we don't even when we don't trust His when we didn't understand His time. Exactly. <laughs> Isn't this so much better than raw batter? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure we can all relate to uh, that story in some way. Now, let's take a look at a story in the Bible of someone who showed a lot of patience. Meet King David. King David was someone who waited a very long time to see God's promise to him come true. When David was 15 years old, he was anointed as king of Israel. But this didn't mean that he was king right away. It simply meant that God had chosen him to be the future king of Israel. But he had to wait until his time came. And so, David waited patiently. Now those years before he came into power as Israel's king were not always easy. He had some difficult times. He was the youngest out of all of his brothers and wasn't their favorite either. After David was anointed as king, he goes on to defeat Goliath. After that, has to run away from Saul, who was the king of Israel at the time, because Saul wanted to kill him. Saul didn't want David to replace him as king. Although these were difficult times, David also learned a lot too. He learned to deal with danger, and he also learned to fight. He learned to trust God above all else and spend much time in God's word. He learned to be obedient and also make close friendships with people who had his back no matter what. It was only 15 years later, after David was anointed king, that he came into power as being the king of Israel. That was a lot of patience. What we can learn from David is that he didn't just sit around waiting for God to keep his promise. He got on with life and trusted that God still had a plan for him, even in the waiting. So, at 30 years old, David became king of Israel and reigned for a total of 40 years. Well, we can definitely learn a lot from David in that story. David is a guy who showed so much patience. In fact, 15 years of patience to be exact. I don't think any of you watching today have waited 15 years for anything. But here is the thing. What is God asking you to have patience for? Maybe you're praying for something and God hasn't answered your prayer. Maybe you're praying for godly friends at school. Maybe you're praying for someone to be healed. Maybe you're praying for a family member who isn't saved or you're praying for a friend that you keep inviting to church but they never come. Maybe it's something else. Now, we don't always know why we have to wait, why we have to have patience, but we can trust that God is always working behind the scenes and that His timing is perfect. Even in David's 15 years of waiting, God was still working in his life. He was building his character. He was teaching him things. He was preparing him for what was to come. And so often in our waiting, God is using that to teach us patience and to teach us to trust Him. Can anyone remember our memory verse? I'm going to give you one clue and one clue only. It's about fruit. Duh! Because we're doing the fruits of the Spirit. So I'm going to help you out if you're feeling a little bit rusty. So I'm going to put up the memory verse on the screen. But I'm only going to give you the first letter of every fruit. Okay, are you ready? Let's get it. Okay. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Your two P's. Okay, and then there's a K. There you go. K. J. And. Ooh, that, that last one was a little bit hard, I won't lie. So did you guys get it? Mm, I hope you did. So why don't we say it together one more time. It's Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23. So, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Well done. We've got to live it out, live it out, yeah, we've got to live it out.
it out, live it out, out. We've got to live it out, live it out. The fruits of the spirit. Let me hear you say love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It's gotta come from deep down in your soul. I said love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It's gotta come from deep down in your soul because we're living a life filled by the Spirit. We're living a life in step with how He did it. We're living a life filled by the Spirit. Goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control It's gotta come from deep down in your soul I said love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control It's gotta come from deep down in your soul Because we're living a life Empowered by the Spirit We're living a life Without Him we can't do it We're living a life Empowered by the Spirit We're living a life Without Him we can't do it We've got to live it out, live it out Yeah, we've got to live it out, live it out We've got to live it out, live it out The fruit of the Spirit You see guys, God knew that without the help of His Holy Spirit, we would never be able to well, live out these fruits of the Spirit because they're fruits of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. And so as we go into this next song of worship, I want you to thank God for His Holy Spirit living in us that helps us work out these fruits in our lives. And, and why not think about those things that you're trusting God for, the things that you're asking Him to help you have patience in, in waiting for answers. Maybe it's answers to prayers or someone is, is sick and you're waiting for them to be healed or you're waiting for something to happen, whatever that might be. While we're worshiping, let's, let's think about those things and let's just lift them up to God and trust that He is fully in control of absolutely everything. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship Your holy name. comes up it's a new day dawning it's time to sing your song again whatever may pass and whatever lies before me let me be singing when the
to Jesus. He sends his Holy Spirit to live inside of us and that's how we get to bear the fruit of the Spirit. So if you have never accepted Jesus as your Lord, as your King, I'm going to pray a really simple prayer that you can repeat after me, inviting Jesus into your life to make you a child of God, that you can be filled with the Holy Spirit and then bear the fruit of the Spirit. So if that's you and you want to pray with me today, I want you to close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I admit that I'm a sinner. I admit that I have messed up. But today, Jesus, I choose you. I choose to follow you. I choose to live for you. And I ask that you please forgive me. Make me a child of God, a part of your family. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray that prayer for the first time today, make sure you tell someone about it. Because in fact, at this very moment, if you gave your heart to Jesus, the Bible tells us that all of heaven is celebrating. That means heaven's having a party just for you. That's crazy. So tell someone about it, that they can walk this journey with you. Okay, guys, so it is that time of our Sunday. It is the Sunday Fun Day Challenge. Now, this one might be a bit more difficult for some than others. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to win, but it's fine. So, you need to find some friends. I have some friends with me over here. This is Inny. He's really, really fast at doing things. This might come into some sort of help in this situation. This is Kudza over here. He's, he's just funny. It's okay. Okay, so what are we going to be doing? And he has a cool laugh. Is this? No, no stress. That's fine. Okay, so we are all going to stand a bit closer together. Okay, we are all wearing the same type of shoes. So if you are wearing slops, try and find a friend that has slops. So you can play this in a group of two or more. So we are all wearing tackies with 
uh, these chandises called laces. Okay, so we are going to have a challenge. I'm going to count to three and we're going to see who can take their right shoe off the fastest. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! On. No, what? How are you guys doing? I have lace up. I have lace ups. Ah. Okay, actually, I don't know who won. I think it was me, but I just wasn't watching. But it's fine. I will see you guys next week.